All right. Get a new page in the old uh, notebook. Yeah, so we had just uh, I was surprised because I ended up uh, I, I was thinking about it today and I was like, you know, I haven't figured out where there was the puzzle underneath the walkway for the rocket ship, but I hadn't figured that out yet. And I didn't know where to put the white page that we had discovered in the uh, marker switches. Riven is hard. Hmm, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you very much. Fuck Ubisoft. secret. Keep it safe. For reasons you'll discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. But I can give you this. It's my diary. It used to be a linking book back here to Dunning. But it's actually a one-man prison. You'll need it, I'm afraid. Again. Once you've found Catherine, signal me, and I'll come with a linking book to bring us back. Also, a chance, if this all goes well, that I might be able to get you back to the place that you came from. Interlaced land. Hey, watch what you're grabbing, buddy.
see me. I'll just, just drag this body away. Nobody saw this. You saw nothing. You know, I'm starting to think that people don't like these linking books. I mean, do I follow? Okay, so we've got the spinny room. The first peephole... Arab. Scarab. But it looks like it's on the other. The pentagram. I think it's a pentagram. Changed positions. So we've got writing. It's there. Screen. Ah, I know what I can do. I can take a screenshot of the preview. Done. Okay. Is there writing? Got writing there, writing there. Ooh, there's lots of writing.
How are you doing tonight, Gaia? Sorry, I know you popped in between games. It's good to see Cox is also screwing my stream as hard as it possibly can tonight. Cooking right now. How did I get? Oh, I, you can slip under the door. Ah. Huh. Possible to get to the from two. I don't know what this gained me. Oh, wow. Okay. So... I need to... Get there for now. I can only go.
didn't seem to do anything yet. Man, after playing Real Mist, the the disconnect between this view and that view is very jarring. Sketch it. Turn on zip mode. What is zip mode? later okay I will take your word for it I bought the game on GOG and I tried to run it as as is and I ended up ah okay I saw the little lightning bolt 
Uh, I still don't know. Assuming that's like things that you can interact with. Let's you skip screens. Okay, cool. Game really likes roller coasters. I remember Riven being game really likes roller coasters. Okay. I remember Riven being like three CDs or one DVD when it came out. I don't think I owned a, co a physical copy of it ever, but I remember it coming. Now I own it on GOG. GOG is great. one CD. This game is already very large uh, in terms of its world map compared to Mist. So many knobs. Uh, let's see. Uh. Sure, let's go into the giant pressure cooker. Jobs, levers, handles, valves, oh boy, yep. 
Uh, can I empty the waters? Well, let's go see what that does. Isn't it? I mean, you know, it's got structures in it and stuff, so sure, I'm sure it would be a naturally clean... Ha, there we go. Water's out. I have no idea what I'm doing yet, but we'll figure it out. Any idea where I'm going? Something?
have enough info that one yet. Where's my lightning bolt to just go back there? Okay, well... Puzzle seems... So, okay. There's pipes connecting everything. Including a big old pipe coming out of there. So, I turned off the water that gave me access, so... Maybe now we turn the pressure cooker back on and try and force some water pipes. Oh, that's an indicator. Okay. That neat. Is a little pipe coming, so no, I Okay, there we go. It was like the water pressure puzzle in the uh, the forest, the cha uh, Channelwood Age. That thanks. I don't know.
like a trap like it, it seems like a pressure trap like you put the pellet on there which doesn't trigger it and then you push it and it clamps Just leave it then and I was kind of hoping there'd be a library <laughs> where I could, you know, some clues about what I'm even supposed to be doing here, but it doesn't seem like that is the case. slid down I don't think I can yeah I don't think I could get back up that way even if I wanted to anyway. Oh, closed now, so maybe it caught something? That catches frogs. Which moment? Back? And I'm just not seeing it. Aha! Oh, 
Um. Doing, I I don't even know. I I don't know if I'm making any progress. I found a water pressure puzzle that traps frogs, and uh, I thought maybe I'd get a frog out of it, like to. But now the frog just jumped away. So I don't know what I'm doing there, if anything. I there's no central library that I can that I have found yet, which has like books like the other one did. <laughs> Yeah, right? Welcome. Welcome. Okay. We're back here. Axe doesn't do good. Ooh, there's... Why, hello there. Welcome. How are you guys doing this evening? I guess it's not even evening. A playthrough of Monkey Island 1 is definitely on the docket. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do... I, I mean, the special edition. I have I have the special edition. I have the regular edition. Um, there's apparently a an ultimate talkie edition. Where somebody managed to mod the voice files from the special edition into the original. Uh, but yeah, Monkey Island is definitely on the docket. That's uh, I want to play through that whole franchise, to be honest. Um... I will say that the environments in Riven are much more alive than they were in Mist, which is kind of nice. And I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that is the technology technology advanced. Like the original Mist was just solid frames, right? That you interacted with. Whereas here we're dealing with like videos. But yeah. Let's just get me back here. Okay. Am I overlooking? Like I'm zipping through these screens. Oh. See it better at this angle.
there's movement up there. Like, oh, is that the person? Is that the person who's to stab my book or whatever? Stole my book? There's actual people here. This isn't just some barren, lifeless world like in. Hey. Hello. Okay. I mean, I like balls as much as the next and but. Knock four times. Can I read those? No, it's just a. game is giving me a lot of things to interact with and zero explanation as to what they are. Welcome to Mist. That's not true. That's not true, Gaia. Mist 1 had the library, which had books, which gave hints as to what to do. Sure. Sure. I mean, why not climb into the obvious death trap? One of those things where it's gonna make me up. And... Like you could start an industrial band. Some person is going to be like, come back to this spot, and they're going to be like, fuck, what happened to my car? can't seem to go forward. It seems a lot larger. Mist was a very tiny island, but the game, you traveled to the different ages and solved the puzzles there, but the ages were very large either. Um... Riven, on the other hand, so far, I haven't traveled to any other ages. Riven is the age. The age. And it seems gigantic. There's lots of roller coasters taking you to different parts of the... I 
can clearly see a ladder, so why use said ladder? Very pretty. Let's... Oh, there was a fork in the room down here. Okay, then. in there. Oh, that's where I came. Aha, we got another one here. Uh, well, the first one was clearly a K and this one is an H. So, how do I feel about Riven so far? Uh, it is much larger, much prettier, and much more confusing than Mist was. And Mist was uh, a pretty obtuse game in terms of figuring out your bearings, but... Riven has literally just dropped me in this landscape with seemingly uh, no direction at all, whereas Mist at least provided some direction in the form of the library. Uh, this one, the, the, the dad, Atris, I guess was his name, um, is just like... Oh, it's you again! Here, I need your help! Go to Rivet! Find the book containing my wife, or I'm, I'm assuming it's a book. She's being held hostage. I don't think... No, no. There we go.
Button seems to do nothing, but I'm sure it will do something. There's the first one of these that I found. So are you saying you have soup this time, or...? There needs to be like a, you must be this tall to ride this ride sign. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's, it's like space balls where it's like space balls, the ride. through there. That's a development. Uh what the fuck was that? He wasn't there last time I passed through here. Is there more of this recording? You know what? I should... I should check the other wall to see if there is... this thing yet at all. Every device that this thing has you crawl into is like, sure, sit in the death chair. It's like it just has a vibrate function. World's worst barber chair. I opened that door. Uh Okay, that's the that's the temple room. Okay. So that door was not previously open. I opened it with that lever. Okay. I 
mean, I'm doing things. I'm, I'm, I'm changing environment. So I feel like I'm making progress, but I don't have any real way to gauge that progress looks like. Down there, didn't find any. Back this. Back to start. This is where I started. Uh, what is? Cool. That's useful. Thanks, game. Yeah, that's 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 basically it. The pieces do not seem to fit yet. It's like I I've got like I'm putting a jigsaw puzzle together. I've got uh, like a cluster of pieces here and another cluster of pieces here and I don't quite understand how they fit together yet. So that's a really good way of looking at it. Well, there's going to be writing somewhere because that's obviously a combination block, okay? We have a giant metal pastry bag. And a cliff. Cool. Well, that jack ship. Why does it show me this? Like, gotta be some importance, I would assume, of letting you look certain places, or too much into that. Under the door. Okay, this is new. Those are the trees. And the... F okay, so I've seen... I've seen these things. Okay. This is the giant pressure cooker, which I found and I was playing around with. These are the trees that were cut down and that's the, there was the lava area. I'm assuming that this book, I don't know what this is though. Looks like it's turning the wood into the book. I mean, you make paper, you make paper out of wood pulp. That would make. Rather than try and put that down, I. Review. Okay.
don't understand what I'm looking for. Seem like I can interact with it in any way. I've seen that symbol. We know that the books can create realities, so... Is this supposed to be at- is this supposed to be depicting Atris's- I- I don't even know if I'm getting the dude's name right- at the- Don't know that any of that helped me. Bring food to this temple, which when we came back to this temple had the picture of like he's being worshipped. Which I mean, I I guess he is. He can use the books to create realities.
Excellent. I have no understanding of what the significance of these round things are yet. Down here. Yep, there's the bird thing. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, here's a path that I missed, though. Got it. You're you're warning them that I'm here. Understand. Joke's on you. I didn't even want to talk to you. Hide. <laughs> All right, we got another one of these. through there then huh okay okay Honestly, I was expecting the water to come out of here, to be honest. So... Not sure... Progress. Is this is this just gonna be an underwater? We have an underwater roller coaster. Cool. Oh, their path. Uh, let's go left.
Oh, we have the left, right again. Well, we're just going to keep going left, because right was where I came from to where this was parked. I'm going to pull the lever, and then I, while it's moving, I am going to go something more taken out. All right. Okay. There's got to be a way to get out, right? Like, I'm not just stuck in this pod forever. Right, because that's the direction I haven't been.
That's more like it. Any change. Take the middle finger game. I wonder. It'd be real sweet if I could. There's... There's five ladders, right? I wonder if these are raising and lowering ladders. Sure. Find out. Down. Okay, so yeah, these control... shape so I can left I I need to go that's an exit that I haven't been to
game is very good about giving you levers to pull and knobs. Now, if my understanding of those levers up on the control panel are correct, this should be excellent. is a symbol I have not seen. It is teaching.
I wrote to right I don't understand because it's not consistent It's very hard to tell because of the Terekoi Dani Kibayem Rivat Al Royem Beetik Tavom Gabodona Gayem. And a humble ba weep grana weep nitty bong to you too, sir. If anybody gets that reference in chat, I will be. I thought those were supposed to be numbers that the game was teaching. But it wasn't consistent. That is not from the video from yesterday, no sir. Oh, uh, no, the, that video was the same video that we saw in the temple. I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the, the, t the two brothers, I'm pretty sure it's their granddad, but I don't, I don't know that for sure. The, what I said, the, ah, we've grown out, we've bong is, uh, the universal greeting from Transformers the movie. Not the Michael Bay Transformers, but the animated one with Leonard Nimoy voicing Galvatron. Yeah. You know, there's one other thing that occurs to me. Um, let's see. I want to take a look at this game one more time. I feel like this room serves to... Okay, so we've got... We're going we're gonna to do this the, the right and proper way.
Okay, that is consistent. That one was three on my last chart, but anyway. There's a line through it, which I didn't have on the other one that I had marked down as two. line through the middle I have a hunch adds five because that symbol without the line the horizontal line in the middle I am sipping on just Jack Daniels I'm out of beer at the moment okay, I already know that one there is it should be six <laughs> All right, so line through the middle equals plus five.
but they have a separate symbol for 10, which is interesting. Okay. eight. Assuming what eight looks like. so I'm gonna the bottom set the eight's the one I don't have confirmed but I assume based on the the fact that this line in the middle is a plus five that it's just taking 3 plus 5 to be 8. This would be so. strokes. Failed.
course, the game is never going to let me get a good angle. There's two that are identical. Or they're similar enough that I don't know what I'm looking, you know, the difference. Uh, wait, what? 
me, these two look identical. Everybody out there knows if I'm on the right track. It, are the, the wooden plaques, is it just a straight, like, substitution for the English alphabet, or am I off track here? Risk spoilers. Each contains a Dunny character. Got it.
I think I'm on the right path, but I don't understand. Uh, don't fully understand the significance yet. So, there's not enough characters to be a straight English. Okay, uh, hold on. It held me for more than 30 years, but the corrections I made given have finally failed. The island has resumed the familiar pattern of decay that is the home. I didn't, I have not seen this. Uh, familiar pattern of decay that is the hallmark of my father's work. I must now race to implement this new patch before it's too late. I only hope that my revised theories are sound. Visions driven or completed. So we're looking at like six days later. Revisions driven or completed. There are still a number of minor adjustments which need to be made, but the basic corrections have been entered and should be worked. Something's not right. I've been monitoring the instruments for several hours now, but have thus far observed no change it's possible that i've made an error though i've checked my entry against my pre notation and can find no discrepancy i've not had a rest in nearly 3 days so it may be that i'm just not seeing it if the fault is with my found Foundational assumptions, however. Perhaps after a short rest, I will. Two days later, success. It appears that my repairs have been effective after all. The gateway image has become noticeably clearer, and although it is impossible to know this with absolute certainty, the island seems to have quieted itself. Just a few more weeks of work and I should be free at last to go there myself and attempt to bring Catherine back. The past eight months have left me little time to think, devise a strategy for getting her out of there. I've received no sign from her in all that time. I'm afraid that... No, I must assume that she is alright, lest my fears undermine my efforts to bring her back. No, it would have been nice, I guess, to have this from the... down there. Uh, one day later, I did not create the Age of Riven. Unlike my father, I have never presumed to have such power, and yet the future of all those who live there has fallen into my hands. So far, I've managed to read the page. Before it turns, the island continues to appear stable. I would like to believe that I have saved a dying world. 
but the theories of one individual cannot support the lives of real people indefinitely. I must get everyone off of Riven as soon as possible. The problem now is Gen. I'll never be able to rescue Catherine and relocate the Islanders if he's still the man he wants. I haven't seen him in over 30 years, but this history forces me to assume that he is still a threat. Myopic mission to restore the deny or Dunny I don't understand why they Dunny civilization has left too many innocent cultures dying in its wake, and would continue to do so were he to once again be free of the confines of Riven, or the Fifth Age, as he The universe has been safe from his corruption sorry, corruptive influence for the last thirty three years. Because no one has been able to leave that age, the last linking book out of Riven, having been lost in the Starfisher upon my return to Myth. That was my intention, to maroon my father on Riven by removing all existing links to other worlds. And since the art of constructing books had long been lost with the fall of the Dunny, he would be trapped there f- for the remainder of his lifetime, and effectively segregated from the countless other worlds that he would. In effect, that is what we achieved. But the way it fell, however, was no one's ideal. Though the sting of the incident has gradually faded from my memory, the deep pain of the responsibility for what actually came to be has never left me. At the time, it all seemed so clear. Gen's destructive path could not be allowed to continue. But it was never my choice that the innocent inhabitants of Riven, who had already suffered so much, would be the ones to pay for it. Enough! To dwell in the past is to die in the present. The situation is not the same as it was then. The knowledge I have acquired in the years since that time has yet to be applied to this problem. I think I have a solution. Why it did not occur to me sooner, I do not know, unless the idea of it had been pushed out with the thought of my sons. A prison book. Many years ago, during a hunting expedition through the ruins of Dunny, I chanced upon a formula for a most unusual type of book. Fortunately, due to the fact that my father was then in the habit of confiscating my discoveries, I was forced to leave it behind. Years later, however, as part of my efforts to protect the vulnerable worlds linked to the books of my in my library, I was pleased to find that I could still recall most of the formula, and with little experimentation, quickly succeeded in creating one of these devices myself, which he then used on his sons. The procedure is actually quite simple. By altering key lines of text, but slightly... A normal linking book's connection can be partially severed, such that anyone who attempts to use the book will be permanently trapped in the dark void of the link. That is, unless someone else uses the book, at which point that person would become trapped, and the first person displaced back into the world. That's what the sons were trying to do. Those assholes. The technique can be applied to books that have already been written, changes to the original text being so slight that anyone who is unfamiliar with the code will be unable to detect them. If indeed my father has not changed... What better bait could there be than a than a book that appeared to be a link back here to deny trouble? My nightly analysis of the island's condition has revealed that the tremors have begun again. The pattern, however, is new. Disturbances are the result of the changes I have made. This did not at first concern me. However, tremors of this type were one of the possible side effects that I had anticipated during the initial phase of the island's readjustment. Still, in order to verify my assumptions, I decided to calculate again, incorporating the new data. The results were not what I expected. The damage to the understructure is more extensive than I realized. I could no longer go to Riven as planned. Catherine, forgive me. I must act while I still have the time. The signs are barely visible, but there's no question that the island's deterioration is accelerating. Total collapse is imminent. I can keep ahead, and that is becoming increasingly difficult. Every passing moment, I gain a clearer picture of the incredible chaos that my father's economy of worlds has yielded. But it is a dismaying process. 
the complexity of the problem is is no end to this. The last few days have all but convinced me that the collapse of Riven is inevitable, and that, at best, I can only strive to delay it now and hope that at some point the island will become stable enough to risk a rescue attack. I think I've come up with a way to subdue the tremors. I'll require my... It will require my exclusive attention for at least a month or two, so it may be necessary to discontinue these journal entries for a while. And it looks like he picked up six days later. Something truly miraculous has happened. Beyond all conceivable probabilities, someone has finally found my lost missed linking book and has freed me from this prison. I immediately realized that this could be the solution to my dilemma, and I believe my mysterious benefactor is willing to assist me. Hey, that's me! I'm still not sure it can work. The logistics of such a scheme are formidable, but the mere fact that it may now be possible for me to my repairs to Riven and yet proceed with my original intent to find Catherine has given me hope. The last few days have left me little time to work out the remaining problems with sending someone else to Riven. It did occur to me, however, that if a way could be found to signal me once again had been captured, it would no longer be necessary to take a real linking book and risk the possibility of inadvertently releasing Gen. The deter <laughs> Indeed, the deteriorated state of the gateway image makes the use of a visual signal impossible, but the picture remains a reliable indicator of Riven's condition nonetheless by measuring it and interpreting variations in the noise patterns. I am still able to observe basic changes that occur in the age, even though I cannot see them. The problem is that my instruments can only detect changes that occur on a fundamental level, and it seems unlikely that an individual could affect such an elementary change from within an age. The idea, the idea may be foolish. Still, there is a known weakness that may be worth investigating, an anomaly that appears as a rift between two separate systems, starfisher. But how or even if this fact could be exploited, I cannot say. Sending someone to Riven also means that once I received the signal that they were ready to return, I would have to leave my writing in order to take a real linking book there myself. However, providing my father provided my father was safely out of the way, this should take very little time. After that, assuming the island does not incur much damage in my absence, it should then be a relatively simple matter to hold it together long enough for Catherine to return to Riven and evacuate the remaining islanders. Predetermining a signal without knowing the top topography of the island may prove to be impossible, but I'm afraid there can only be one answer to the question of whether or not I should send my friend to Riven with a way out. The potential for failure will be greatly diminished if the prison book is all that is taken I'm sure my father is expecting me to bring a linking book to Riven. May he not be disappointed. Hmm. No, stay down. God damn it. Ah, it's annoying. I don't understand.
don't understand what I'm supposed to do with that yet. Okay, so I'm kind of out of... Kind of out of ideas as to where to explore at the moment. So... Almost like that's an elevator. But like I can't. I thought I would be able to grab a hold of it, but... Yeah, because you can move, like it gives you just a briefest moment to interact. But I don't know... Tried stepping to the side and it doesn't give me anything. Yep, that's. Won't let me move. Missing something. I don't know the significance.
five. where they cut down the according to the cliff anyway. Aha! Nothing. No idea. The walkway up there, but I don't know. walkway again.
no idea what to do with this yet. Same statue. Open that panel again. I don't know that I've solved everything here yet. I think I have.
it's like the world's most complicated trap of some kind, and I don't know what I'm doing with it. Every time a frog comes up and it hops right off. Sounds like the frog. Do each of these balls sound? Hey, thanks very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Is uh, it's I just beat Mist tonight, uh, right before I started this, and uh, it is both an improvement over Mist, uh, and an escalation in difficulty. Um, I like it so far. Um, I don't feel like I've I don't feel like I've I've hit a wall at any point. Like every time I every time I move. 
All right, Brid, you have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, I feel like every time I I'm chipping away at it with an ice pick a little bit, but not enough to make anything coherent. Sound on that one. I think I have seen the creature that makes that sound yet. How is your night going? Yes, I know you like me. That part. Those thing I don't even know what to call those. Actually, want back.
Fair enough. We're pretty lurk friendly stream. Pretty chill. Exactly what this room is. He pulled a fucking Wizard of Oz. Hey, welcome back. Um I identified that the the twisty ball things have a so each of them has a sound and is associated with a note. So I'm assuming that there's a sound combination lock somewhere. that pipe it could just be the water pipes that we saw another one but I wouldn't I've also figured out that the the chair thingy with the claws, he's like it's like the Wizard of Oz booth where he's sitting in there broadcasting to but I'm assuming that the guy that we're after is in here Also, I knocked on that door. I went back to that hut and I knocked on that door five times. 
And, uh... Somebody opened the door. Or, not opened the door, but they opened the little window and then shut it again. Oh, and I discovered the journal. I didn't realize I had the book on me down below. And he wears the symbol of the five, and it talked about, uh... I wish I could read that. I don't know. I don't know if I was on the right track earlier with the. I wrote down all the characters hanging. I know I understand the numbers now, but I wrote down all the characters that I could see along the wall. And by my count, there's only 23 of them. So I, they're not a straight English substitution. Which is kind of what I was hoping. It would just be like, uh, okay, I just translate it now and it, I get all the text in the game. But no, of course not. Also, there were two characters that were identical. I don't understand that. So, the question I have is, when I came back in here, and I saw him in this bubble, was he sitting in that chair at the time? Because that's what it seems like to me. Like, was it just a matter of, oh shit, he's right there, all I had to do is run down the hall and grab him? Uh, it's... I mean, it would make sense because there's that golden fortress behind the gate thing and it's not that far away. Like, he could have just booked it. I realized the sound. Okay, so I that remember that I talked about the world's most complicated frog trap earlier. Well, I went back to it, and this is the sound that the frog makes. So, frog is three. These creatures, I don't know what to call them. They're like sea pigs.
I'm assuming that's a whale? I don't, I haven't seen a creature that makes this sound yet. But. That's five. Have a good night, sir. Thank you for stopping by. A buzzing sound? I don't know if the water has anything. Haven't found. Them. I I I have seen all five of these fucking. Wait, there's a buzzing. Shit, is the buzzing the beetle that I saw earlier? Fuck, I don't remember what it sounded like. Oh god. It doesn't show me another beetle, so I can't... I found this one, as well. Is like a deer, or...
But I do believe I think I am at a stopping point. Let's see. For those of you who just stopped by tonight for the first time, I would like to thank you very much for stopping by. Like the stream, just think about giving a follow. I hope to see you again. I usually stream about 10 p.m. time. Uh, I try to stream Monday through Friday, but uh, sometimes on the weekends I stream. Bonus. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you over to a streamer named Bronzo. Pretty cool, pretty chill. Uh, he's doing marbles on right now. Again, thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>